Hey everyone, welcome to Astro Scoop. This is Jeff, the astrology coaching channel that does a deep dive into the planets and signs of the zodiac. And in today's video, Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing, liking, comment, and sharing. It really helps me to do future videos. Today's video is the Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp, which runs approximately November 19th to November 24th. The Scorpio Sag Cusp comprises two signs, Scorpio and Sagittarius. And this is my second cusp video. Please check out my first one, which was the Libra Scorpio Cusp from last month. Now, with these two signs, you have the scorpion or eagle, which is the symbol for Scorpio, and you have the archer or centaur, which is the symbol for Sagittarius. The people born on this cusp are a mix of water, Scorpio, and fire, Sagittarius, and the planets Pluto and Mars. The two main modes for people on this cusp are feeling, which is the water side, and intuition, which is the fire. Now, water and fire combined on a cusp is very interesting and here is a strong combination of Scorpio secretiveness and Sagittarius bluntness or tactlessness at times. These folks are normally very loyal and uh, dedicated to whatever it is that they do and combining the water and the fire creates a lot of passion for their projects and lust and zest for life as well. So with these two signs, Scorpio's key phrase or mantra is I create or I desire, and Sagittarius's mantra is I see or I perceive. So the Scorpio is very single-minded and focused in terms of feelings and projects, and the Sagittarius can also be very single-minded, though a lot more restless. The Sagittarius part of this cusp has a strong need to wander and roam that almost insatiable need to wander and roam can land these folks in hot water at times. And they can definitely take things too far in terms of their personal motivations and projects and that zeal and zest to kind of overthrow uh, the established order of things. I admire their intensity and I admire their ability to put themselves out there and stick their necks out, so to speak, to stand up for moral causes, for their family, and for those that they care for. But I also almost see them uh, almost as a hyperactivity, so please take that with a grain of salt, but there is almost a such a strong need. They're always trying to regain that composure when they're feeling wild or for the need to go off on a tangent, but they're very interesting to watch. These folks, as I said, can be a bit wild at times, regardless of the age, whether you're a teenager or you're 70, there's definitely a streak there that's wild and you need to balance or you should balance that wildness out with practical, safe, effective productivity in your daily life. And these folks definitely can have a tough time doing that because they are venturesome, they are adventurous and they like to push the envelope. When these folks misfire or misuse their energy, they can sort of go off the rails, so to speak. They can be autocratic, they can be cutting with their sarcasm and singularly piercing with criticism or jokes uh, that may hit a little too hard. But generally speaking, they're really fun people, loyal people. They can really help others to experience situations and events, whether it's a movie or a concert. If you're with this type of person, you're gonna experience this event uh, most likely to the fullest, not 97% they're gonna help you get up to that 100%. Hard driving intensity is a phrase that I came up with to describe this cusp. When I was researching celebrities and famous people that are born on this cusp, in addition to some of the people I know and I've, that I've coached, I realized that this is a formidable uh, cusp. And a couple other people are like Ted Turner and the late Larry King, who had a very penetrating way of interviewing people. Well, these folks are loyal, intense but can be very sweet very forthright and also can be very very true blue say what they mean and mean what they say with the scorpio strength 
and the Sagittarius honesty. Folks born on this cusp can have a extreme or radical side to their personality. And if you're born on this cusp or you know someone who is, you'll know what I mean. And that doesn't mean these people are gonna be at the forefront of a major uh, political cause or something, but there's definitely something inside their psychological nature that needs to take a stand on things, you know, break a window or two symbolically to get their point across. These folks are full force. They're not middle of the road. When we looked at the Libra Scorpio cusp, the Libra part of that uh, duo enjoys peace and repose at times to balance out the intensity of Scorpio. But here, when we have Scorpio and Sagittarius, the Scorpio intensity is sort of fueled by the Sagittarius' need to get out there in the world. It's an outward directed sign, cover a lot of ground. In her films, Jamie Lee undoubtedly expresses a very specific uh, type of intensity between the Scorpio and the Sag cusp here. Uh, she is very piercing and penetrating and she's quote unquote called a scream queen and she can certainly do that well. And the Sagittarius nature, which is fire, is definitely uh, helps her to express more of that Scorpio intensity that's more inner, but the fire definitely helps her to be outward and more blunt and uh, bring that to the screen. Like many people born on this cusp, Jamie Lee has suffered some turmoil in her personal life uh, with her late actor father, Tony Curtis. Uh, Jamie Lee is also a recovering alcoholic. So she's dealt with her own uh, personal issues. And she's, I think, my sense is that she's brought some of that vulnerability and intensity to the screen with that water and that fire. And if you look at her chart, um, if you're an astrologer and you've done her chart, or just take a look and, and use it as a template to learn how to read charts. When I watch interviews with her, she doesn't seem to back down <laughs> uh, from anything. She almost comes across as too tough, uh, so to speak, but she's an interesting mix of this cusps, water and fire. Well, stay tuned for more cusp videos. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. Consider liking and subscribing to the channel. This is Jeff with Astro Scoop where I give you the real scoop on astrology. Until the next time, stay safe and be yourself.